Hello everyone, it's Steve with Aptera Owners Club. Well, it's happened. Lightyear has started production as of today, November 30th, 2022. And uh, this will be the second vehicle on the road that has a Lafay hub motor. So the first was um, the uh, Endurance from Lordstown which uh, they started customer deliveries yesterday. And then today, Lightyear announced that they are starting production. And so they will be the first solar electric vehicle to make it to the market. Um, so they, they beat Aptera and Sano Motors to it. So here it is, November 30th, 2022. Lightyear Zero has gone into production. If you guys remember, Lightyear Zero is um, being produced at Valmet, which is a um, contract manufacturer. Uh, and um, Lordstown is being manufactured by Foxconn, uh, which is, you know, better known to be the iPhone manufacturer, but now is trying to get into contract manufacturing for EVs. And Fisker, which recently also went into production, is being made by a contract mag manufacturer called Magnus Steyr, which is an Austrian company. Uh, so here we here's the model here's the uh, excuse me the timeline for the light year and we're like they made production intent vehicles in April of this year and at the end of November they are making their production car so from their production intent vehicle to their production car it took what about six seven months um, from April to November and What's interesting also is when I first covered the light year, that was back about a year ago. And at that time, their purchase price was $150,000, which I was saying back then was kind of an insane price. Um, I thought 150,000, well, it's 150,000 euros, but 150,000 euros is very close to $150,000 uh, with the exchange rates right now. And they predicted deliveries in summer of 2022. So they're a little bit off target. Um, they changed their price from 150. So if you go and try to order it now, it's 250,000 euros. So they went from 150,000 euros to 250,000 euros, and um, they just started production today. So probably first deliveries are going to be maybe by the end of this year. Um, so they're a little bit off. They were saying summer delivery, summer 2022. They're about six months off their target, which isn't bad. And I think that Lightyear is going with the kind of the Tesla model. They're making a very expensive car. Remember, Tesla made the Roadster, which was a very expensive car. And the that had a high profit margin. They're going to use that to develop the Model S, which is an expensive luxury car, which also has a high profit margin. And they used the money from that to develop the Model 3, which is the uh, kind of the more... Uh, affordable vehicle. So Lightyear is doing the same thing. They're making this vehicle, which is insanely expensive, $250,000. Um, they are pr uh, almost definitely making a profit with uh, the car at this price point. And there are, I guess, enough people that are interested in paying that much for the car. Um, and these people, you know, obviously they're not doing this because they want a good deal on a car. They, they're doing this because they really like the car. And they really um, kind of want to help the company, I think. I suspect most of the people buying this Lightyear are also very wealthy investors of Lightyear. Um, and so they were told a price of 150 and they and then it went up to 250 and they were like, yeah, that's fine. 150, 250, what's the big difference? And they I, I think that they probably I think they've sold out their their um, initial run of these vehicles. But um, it has a lot of similarities to Aptera. They are Aptera and Lightyear are both using the Maxion uh, solar cells, and they're both using Alafe hub motors. So I really want Lightyear to succeed. Um, you know, their plan is their next uh, vehicle. They're claiming is going to be an affordable thirty thousand euro um, solar car. If they pull that off, that'll be pretty impressive. And so I hope they do. Um, uh, it's again, I really, it's a great vehicle, but wow. I mean, there, there aren't that many people that can afford this thing at 250,000 euros, but they did go into production today. And so looks like we're not only going to get real world, um, information from 
the Lordstown hub motors, which of course are different hub motors than the Aptera. They're much bigger. I think the hub motors that the light you're using are similar in size to the Aptera, but are is are going to be different. Uh, they they specially made motors for Lightyear, and they specially made a different type of motor for Aptera. But I think the tech remains pretty similar. Uh, this will be I think these will be the first uh, modern uh, hub motor vehicles, and the biggest thing about them is their design. If you look at the um, the patents for Elafe, their biggest uh, IP is their hub their hub bearing design, their hub bearing design has to be very rigid to hold um, the, the very narrow gap between the stator and the rotor um, dur during all the shocks of driving, such as turning and hitting bumps and things like that. So that's going to be the point of most stress on these hub motors. And we will see how those bearings hold up um, in the real world with Lightyear and Lordstown being out there. Um, I mean, between the two, obviously, light years a much closer approximation of the Aptera than the Lordstown, uh, which is a totally different kind of vehicle. Okay, well, um, so a lot of exciting things happening. I don't, we'll, we'll have to see who makes it out the door first between so Sano and um, Aptera. I'm hoping for Aptera, but, um, you know, as uh, Chris Anthony and Steve Ambro said, their production timeline is um, funding dependent. So, we're really hoping that they find some big donors, I mean, big investors to um, to support them so we can get the production show on the road. And hopefully, you know, they, we're supposed to be getting a Delta design before the end of the year. So hopefully we will be hearing about that in the next couple of weeks. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Tell me what you guys think about the light year. Um, the price changed from 150 to 250,000. Um, that's a pretty impressive uh, price jump. Thanks as always to our supporting members. Have a great day, everyone.